Hi, my name is Matt Maxwell, and I'm a product manager for Tektronix Spectrum Analyzers. And this quick how-to video will talk about doing parametric testing of a Zigbee uh, radio, a physical layer test for Zigbee radios, either modules or maybe even semiconductor. Um, and for this video, I'm going to use the RSA 607A. This is a real-time spectrum analyzer that's controlled through USB using this PC here running SignalView PC software for performing the different parametric tests. The parametric tests that we're talking about here are covered by the Zigbee standard and would include things like modulation quality, error vector magnitude, and then other measurements looking at the spectrum emissions mask and, mod and qualities of the signals and channel powers of the signals, et cetera, for the parametric testing. So let's get started. So starting out, we're seeing the spectrum display, always a good place to start when doing parametric testing. And the way SignalView PC software works is I pull up the selected available displays, and I need to have the option or activate the 30-day free trial for the um, general purpose digital demodulation. So Zigbee uses a type of modulation called OQPSK, or Offset Quadrature Phase Shift Keen, with a half sign filter. So I'm going to bring up a few of the demodulation measurements, the signal quality, the symbol table, and the error vector magnitude versus time. I could also include the, spec the spectrum display if it doesn't cause too much problems. So I pull up as many displays that I have space for in the, in the screen here. And what I see right away are a few things that are occurring. First is that the constellation diagram on this display appears to be losing lock. And the reason for that is that I actually am not triggering on this bursted signal. Uh, however, I reassuringly do see the correct constellation. So let's go ahead and turn on the trigger so we have a little bit more stable measurements. It's important when you turn on the trigger, trigger menu here, turn on, that I set the RF, the source of the RF input, tell it it's a power trigger, and that the level is set correctly so I'm getting good consistent triggers. And now I see the constellation diagram does look correct. What's often important for doing a series of parametric tests is looking for the signal quality, the RMS and peak values. Now you may need to change frequencies within the ISM band or change other signal p conditions to perform tests for the signal quality repetitively. Um, another type of test for parametric testing that's useful is if we go to RF measurements and bring up the um, channel power test. So I'm, I'm getting a very crowded display here. Make this larger. This is a channel power test that shows the main channel around seven, minus seven dBm, and maybe a couple of the adjacent channel powers. Maybe a little difficult to see on the screen, which is why we have a table reporting these results here as well. All of the measurements that you see here and in the demodulation are available programmatically to set up um, automatic test equipment code to get these results repetitively. EVM versus time is another interesting measurement, maybe not done for parametric testing, but like the, like the name of the display implies, I'm showing each constellation diagram measurement point, EVM point, versus symbol here. Um, a note about the constellation diagram, it appears a bit strange. The way that Zigbee signals work is that the I and Q have a 90 degrees phase difference between them. So if I go to the settings here, I can have the Q offset removed and have the constellation diagram line up, but now it shows a lot of zero crossings. One of the advantages of using a Zigbee device is I physically, in reality, don't have the Zigbee crossings, but it makes it difficult to display the, this abstract implementation of Zigbee signals in the constellation diagram. So you can look at this either way, either with the constellation diagram showing up at the expected points or without the Q offset removed that shows physically how the signal is really being transmitted, avoiding the zero crossings. It's a technique that's used to help save on battery life for Zigbee devices. So a lot of different capabilities are available here to cover most of the required parametric tests for the Zigbee specification. 
So we talked a little bit about the different parametric tests that are available in the SignalView PC software for a ZigBee device. I hope that's been a little helpful for you, and I thank you for your time.